Hello everyone and welcome to a new video tutorial. In this video, we will be discussing about CS Card Mobile App Builder that is Mobicool and we will see how this can convert your CS Card e-commerce store into a mobile Android app. So let's get started with the video and see what are the features of this. So firstly, this will be the home page for your app. The admin can modify it according to their needs. So firstly, here are the few banners which are running around. So admin can choose any banners to display here and they can associate any products or categories with these banners. Such as we have clicked on one banner and the product page for this product has opened up. Here the customer can see the description and features of this product and can see the pricing. And also they will be able to add this product or any product into their wish list by just clicking on add to wish list and the product added successfully. After that they can also share this product with their friends and family by just clicking on this button here and then they will be able to share this product and they can also see the different images that are present for the particular product and they can click on the image and they can even zoom in or zoom out of the image for the clear visibility so now let's just go back and see what all are the features on the home page so after the banners there is a hot deals category where all the products are shown after that, there is a category for on sale here are the products which are on sale shown and after that, there is an option for daily deals. In this, the product which are in daily deals will be shown. After that, there is what's new. So all the new products will be shown. After that, there is best selling laptops and best selling mobiles. And after that, there is an option for newsletter. So what it does is the customer can enter in their email address and click on subscribe and they will be subscribed to the newsletters of your e-commerce store. So this is the home page and on home page only you can see that these are the three options present. So first one is for search. So the customer can search for any product in the store by just clicking on the search button and entering the keyword. Let's say iPad and see if there is some product by this name. So as you can see that all the products which contain this keyword will be shown here. So this is how the search button or the search bar works. So as you can see there is there is no iPad keyword in the title but there must be somewhere that's why this product has opened up in the search bar. So let's see where it is. So as you can see here that from your iPad, iPhone and iPod touch. So the word iPad is present in the in somewhere. So that's why this product has shown up into the search terms. And you can also choose how, how you want to see the products as you can see in the category form or you can see in the grid form. After that there is option for sort by. What it does is you can sort the results according to the alphabets that is A to Z or Z to A or you can sort them according to the prices. So let's just click on low to high and the product will now be shown in the increasing order of the prices. As you can see here 79, 82, 89, 499. So this was for the search terms. And the customer can also use their voice to search by just clicking on this and their voice will be used to search the store. After this, this bell button, so when the customer clicks on it, the customer will be able to view all the notifications that have been sent to the app. So these are all the notifications. So when a customer click on it, they will either be redirected to a product page or the category page. So as you can see. Now we have been redirected to the product page. 
after that there is an option for cart this is simple this is the shopping cart so whenever you add any product in your cart that product will then be shown in here after these these are the three dots present which are present here so from here you will be able to see my orders my wish list login and sign up so we have just added a product in our wish list and as you can see you will be able to see the product in the wish list even though you have not logged in into the app so now let's quickly log in to the app so we have logged in into the demo app so as you can see the product that we have already added that is this nikon camera is also now added into our wish list because we have added it when we have not logged in into the app and all the other products are there because we might have added them when we have logged in into the app so these are the wish list and you can delete any product from the wish list by just clicking on this cross button and that product will then be deleted from the wish list and you can also click on the product name and you will be redirected to the product page so when you click on this again after logging in you can see that there is an option for profile details and my orders so click on profile details here the customer will be able to see their details that is their account information and in it they will be able to see the email address they can see their passwords and they can reset their password by just entering their new password here after that they will be able to see their billing address they can change it if they want and they can choose whether they want the same address for billing or shipping or not and after that they can choose whether they want to sign up for the newsletter by just clicking on this and they can choose whether they want to sign up for the newsletters or not after that there is my orders option in my orders the customer will be able to see all the orders that they have placed on the store and they can see the order information by just clicking on the order number and they'll be able to see all the information such as their addresses the product information and the order summary and they can also view the order details by just clicking on this i button and they can see the status for the order such as open open after that there is option for my wish list which i have already shown you and after that, there is option for log out so it is the option for logging out of the app so when we click on these three bars here the customer will be able to see the profile they just have to click on this bar and they can switch between their profile and these are all the categories which are present in the store and when they click on it their profile tab will expand so these are all the options which i have just shown you from here so they can access these option from here or they can access these option either from here so let's say we are on a wish list page and when we click on this home button then the customers will be redirected to the home page of the app after that let's try purchasing some item and see how this will work so this is the product page so here are the various pictures for the product and you can see how many quantities are available for buying and also the customer will be able to see reviews and they can they will be able to add their reviews by just clicking on add a review they can enter in their name they can give the ratings and they can then comment on here and they then they can click on submit so this is how the customers will be able to provide the review for the product after that they'll be able to see the brand they can see the pricing and they can see the description here features and reviews which are which other customers have made and when they are happy with all the things they can click on add to cart and as you can see product added successfully and from here they can also choose the quantity that they want for this product and they can also change this in the cart so as you can see there are two products because this product might have been added when we have logged in previously so 
if you want if you don't want any product from the cart you can just simply click on this cross button and then that product will get deleted and if you want the whole cart to be emptied then you just have to click on empty cart and the, all the products present in the cart will get removed and you can click on add more products and you'll be directed to the home page so just like this and you can continue your shopping or you can go to your cart page you can apply some coupon code if you have any and if your coupon code is valid you will be able to get some discount after that you can also increase or decrease the quantity of the product by just clicking on this plus and minus button and let's say we have increased the quantity to 2 then we have to click on update card and as you can see the price now is increased as the price for one is 899 and then now the price has been increased accordingly for the two quantities now let's just click on proceed to check out here the customer will be able to see their billing address they can modify it and they can choose whether they want the same address for shipping and billing and they can click on continue after that they can choose the shipping options and then they'll be able to choose the billing options that they how how they want to pay for the product now let's just say we have selected cash on delivery and then click on submit my order so after clicking on submit my order the customer will be able to see the order number and the message that their order has been successfully placed placed and they can also continue shopping by just clicking on this continue shopping button or they can view the order details by clicking on view order and then they'll be redirected to the order page and they can click on the order number or the i button and they'll be able to see the order information which are present so this was all for the cs card mobile app builder that is mobicool so if you have any query please uh, raise a ticket at webcool.com uvdesk.com so thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day